Hey guys, just a quick video. <clears throat> this is the uh, Chinese mantis I found the other day, about a week and a half ago, two weeks maybe. And uh, as you can see, she's doing really well. I have her set up in this critter keeper, which I'll go into a little bit later. And uh, this is my first mantis, so I'm by no means an expert on anything about it. But uh, I'm really excited because I've wanted a mantis for a really long time. Uh, I've really wanted a ghost mantis, which I obviously I'd have to order because um, it's leaf flare from uh, Malaysia. But um, what I can tell you about Chinese mantises is um, I believe their scientific name is Tenedora sinensis. And um, as the name implies, they're actually originally from China, but they're naturalized here in the U.S. What that means uh, is at one time they were introduced uh, being an invasive species and became so integrated into our ecosystem that there's nothing we could ever possibly do to get rid of them. Um, so now they are nat what we call naturalized, meaning they're now nat what we can we would, would consider a natural part of our um, ecosystem. Uh, whether I agree that we should allow naturalized uh, animals to exist still is kind of uh, debatable. Um, I mean, humans are awesome at destroying wildlife and ecosystems and all kinds of different organisms, <laughs> so I highly doubt we couldn't somehow eradicate them completely. And uh, it's kind of debatable whether we should try or, you know, what how far we should go, but the, the main issue is uh, you could eradicate Chinese mantises, but you could along the way you could also uh, accidentally uh, eradicate all kinds of PA native or you know uh, native mantis species. I live in PA, that's why I said that. But um, at one time these guys were considered invasive and non naturalized. That's what I can tell you what I actually know about. Uh, and aside from that, another really cool thing is I had no idea that I fi I figured it out. You can count uh, ab abdominal segments and compare antennae to find out uh, whether they are male or female. But I had no idea that, as you can see from my other video, that she was gravid and she laid in what is called an utheka, which is basically like a mass of matter. <laughs> really bizarre if you watch a video it's very strange um, a mass of like eggs like a I'm not even sure if like the mass itself is the eggs but uh, it's basically like an egg sac uh, it's very soft and as you could see in the video if you saw the video of her laying it it's very soft and uh, malleable and uh, malleable is a pretty weird weird word to use to describe it I don't see why whatever anyways um, it's very soft and eventually it hardens and uh, I've been talking to some people on uh, UK mantis forums uh, on the UK mantises are a lot more popular to keep here as, as pets than they are here in the United States but a uh, great source of information if you're into mantises definitely check it out and uh, they someone told me to leave it go for five days and um, to remove it and uh, put it in a proper container which I'll have to, oops, sorry, my fingers in there, which I'll have to maintain. But she's really cool, I mean, just how intelligent they are is just, it's just really amazing. I think insect could be this aware, and it's just, it's just, they're just different, and <laughs> I'm like really taken back by them. Um, just how aware and inquisitive they are, and it's pretty, it's pretty cool. They're really cool. I can see myself, uh, getting more of these somewhere or the other. When you uh, do take uh, mantises from your native area, be, be sure that, that it's a species you're allowed to take because there are some that are endangered and uh, a, lot, a lot of the reason is because of these Chinese mantises. Um, they just outcompeted them and uh, habitat loss and things like that. So make sure if you do take wild mantises that it, it's okay. Um, like I said, this is a naturalized one, so um, you don't have to, like, my thing with, if something's invasive, morally you should dispose of it uh, for the environment, whether by killing it in a humane way or, you know, taking it for yourself. That's my thing. 
That's again, that's debatable. But this is naturalized, so I didn't feel obligated to kill it or take it. But uh, it's, I mean, I was allowed to, so I decided to take it. And if they're invasive, I probably would just took it as well. But I mean, that's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. It's just really interesting watching them groom. Uh, it eats right out of my hand. It's really, it's really awesome. Uh, I can definitely see myself getting into it, and I'm surprised it's not more popular here in the U.S. Uh, in the U.K., it's fairly popular. Let's just, let's try to offer him uh, some food. Or her, it's a female. I'm sorry. I've never offered this super long. Okay, super long. kind of hard to feed it out with my hand while I'm holding the camera. It's very cool. Like I said, I just laid that Ufek a couple of days ago, so, or an Uth for short, so it's pretty hungry. It's a pretty shitty way to die, <laughs> honestly. I feel really bad feeding it, but it's got to eat. I mean, I feel bad. But, uh, at my internship and between my internship and my work, he, not work, but like my hobby here, um, I feed a lot of mealworms and a lot of superworms. So um, I'm pretty used to it. I don't like to watch anything living die, so, you know, anything die, I guess. Doesn't make any sense, but pretty cool stuff. I'm really excited for the Ithaca to hatch. Um, my girlfriend really wants one, so she's going to get one. Uh, and then I guess um, I, I'm yet to figure out what to do with the, uh, the whether I should uh, let them go um, or distribute them. I mean, like I said, they're naturalized, so it's it's fine to let them go. People actually sell uh, Chinese uh, mantis ooth uh, for their gardens uh, because these guys get rid of a lot of uh, pests and stuff that will ruin uh, your crops or whatever. So that's pretty interesting. So it's okay to let these guys go if, if I choose so, but. Um, I would like to keep one or two for myself and, like I said, give one away. They're, they're really interesting and, um, I think it's definitely worth looking at. If you're into invertebrates and you haven't thought about mantises, like you're into tarantulas or scorpions or something like that, really look into mantises. I mean, they're really cool. They're not very demanding either. Uh, I would love to put a care video or something like that, but the truth is I'm completely new to this, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be okay doing that, so... Um, maybe some sometime in the far future, um, I can definitely, like I said, this is something, definitely something I'm going to be getting into. Uh, I'll be able to give more advice, but um, all I know is I, I can tell you some back end, background information, but I'm not going to tell anyone how to take care of these because I'm, I'm new myself. I'm still very, very new and I'm, I still have a lot to learn. But I just want to show off because I just think it's so neat. Really cool. Alright, well, uh, that's enough for this video, and uh, thanks for watching.